Hey, John Reed, JDOD.com, Sapphire Madrid. We're just getting started here. I've got Adam Benny with me. He's a serious uh, BI guy at SAP. Welcome. Thanks, John. So we're going to talk a little bit about what we expect this week, but I want to get started with analytics. We've kind of been talking about analytics for a long time, like maybe 20 years. So why is this really hitting right now as, as a crucial issue for customers? So I, I, think, I think it's always been important for customers, but I think the more you look at it today, the more people are realizing that they have really done a great job of collecting in their systems of record information about how their organizations operate. And more and more they're starting to recognize that that's a huge asset for them as an organization. And to get that asset out is where analytics comes to play. Taking that information out and applying it to you know, how they do their business, where they do their business, optimizing their business. Uh, we use the term critical moments of engagement, that point when an organization engages with its customers, with its employees, with its stakeholders, and being able to bring information to that point, to that point when it makes a difference to the business, is what we call a critical moment of engagement. And I think more and more people are starting to see those critical moments of engagement and understand that they already have the informational assets to be able to have an impact at that point. Uh, the other big thing that's changing in our world, of course, is that the prevalence of mobile technology, the prevalence of networking now, means that you can move that informational asset out to that critical moment. You can, you can empower uh, a service engineer who's walking up to a piece of equipment with knowledge about how to make decisions more effectively. Uh, we see this in almost every single industry, every single segment. Uh, the doctor who has the patient information with them when they meet the patient. Um, the service engineer I just talked about, the salesperson when they meet their customer. Um, the, the information is, is pretty much already there, but getting it to that critical moment can have a huge impact on the way that businesses are successful. So if we accept the premise that that real time and mobility are converging right now and analytics is in the middle of that. What are the challenges for customers that they need to overcome to actually be able to say, we took advantage of these tools? So I think, I think like, like many things, to, to reach the point where you can actually capture that critical moment and make it more successful for you, there's, a, there's quite a lot you need to do. Um, you obviously have to have that fundamental foundation in the systems of record that we've been putting in place with our core enterprise applications for a long time. You need to have a core infrastructure for doing analysis and doing analytics, which is where our business intelligence portfolio has been and our data warehousing portfolio has been for a long time. But as we start to look at you know, the next two corners of that plan, you really have to have a mobile infrastructure that can deliver that content effectively out to those individuals in ways that they can access, the ways that they can interact with it, ways that mean something to them in the time frame, that few seconds when they can actually work with it to make a difference. And you have to have the information now a lot more current. You talked about real time. You know, we have a huge effort going on here to how do we move the latency out of that information? Because if you're going to have an interaction with a customer, talking to them about what happened a month ago, two months ago, it's not really adequate. You need to go about what's happening right now. And that's really driving us to bring that real time technology to bear. So an organization, as they start to put these foundational pieces and bring their business up to a real time point and a mobile point, it's really bringing those sort of four components together. You've got to have the, the fundamental uh, records of what matters. You have to have the ability to interpret it and make sense of it. You've got to deliver it mobily, and you want it all to happen in real time. So I want to give you a chance to pitch BI40 a little bit. <laughs> so now is your chance to pitch a little bit as far as like, does BI40 help to address these issues? We waited for this release for a long time. It's a huge release in the history of SAP. What does it mean for these issues? Well, the core of BI4 is of course that core analytical infrastructure. It's fundamentally an enterprise scale application platform for building those analytical solutions for customers. And the wonderful thing about it is it provides all the different range of capabilities that a typical enterprise needs. It's not a single point solution for one particular problem. It's a collection of solutions to solve the range of problems that most organizations have while retaining the ability to keep things consistent, to have one version of truth, the, 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 this magical quest that we've been on for 20 years to have a, a sense of what is true for an organization. And we've connected that to the mobility, so we're now with uh, BI4. We can bring that content out. We've, we've been able to do certain amounts of mobility, um, but now more and more we're bringing more and more of that capability out into the mobile world um, and really starting to see mobile as our first point of delivery. Mobile is where we can take that information and get it to that point of impact for the organization. 
what happens in the back office is great, but what happens in the front office, what happens in the, when people are actually interacting with the stakeholders of an organization, and that could be your customers, that could be your partners, but your suppliers, is really where it counts. And of course, we're connecting it on the back end. We're leveraging all of the other deeper technology around data warehousing. So BI4 really is that fundamental foundation that we're going to build all of this kind of future on. Um, and we have a number of areas where we're going to drive that change right on that, on that core foundation, that core informational foundation that we've now put in markets, ready to go. You know, we've got lots of areas of innovation coming in the future. Um, but that, that's what BI4 represents to us. It represents a stable point for us to now innovate and go very, very fast at bringing real impact to organizations that have deployed that as their enterprise standard. Now, I doubt you're looking forward to this particular question, but it's been asked to me a lot, so I got to ask it of you. You can't talk about dashboards without talking about iOS and iPads, and you can't talk about iPads without talking about Flash issues, so what are you guys going to do about Flash? So Flash is definitely a challenge for us. The, the, the lack of Flash on iOS, um, I know we've had some time to start trying to think out solutions, but there are lots of ways uh, to address that kind of problem. I think right now we, we, we are taking a really hard look at what the right way for our customers, what the reliable way is for us to deliver. It's particularly, obviously, very much focused around dashboards, um, but Flash is used in other parts of our portfolio as well. Uh, and, and in any, every one of these cases, we have to look at, you know, there's, there's strategies afoot within Adobe. Um, there are obviously uh, alternatives for us to, to move off Flash, but that has impact to our customers. So we're taking a very, very serious look at the right architecture. Today for dashboards, you know, we have some partner organizations. They've come up with some, you know, some solutions that we think are definitely things that people who need dashboards on mobile devices urgently should take a really close look at. Obviously, the responsibility to us as SAP is to find a fundamentally correct way to deliver this. And, and we're going to take our time to make sure that we do it correctly. I think our customers expect that from us. All right, so maybe we'll ask you about that again in May, uh, Sapphire, then. Sure so, uh, <laughs> so tell me uh, about this week. Uh, is there something going on that you're particularly looking forward to or that you're anticipating at this time? I think for me, you know, Sapphire is a wonderful opportunity to meet a lot of customers very quickly. Um, it's, it's the best opportunity for me to sit down with one customer after another, um, hear about the successes they're having, hear about the use cases, how they're applying the technology, which always surprise me. It's always amazing what people actually do with the product. Um, and then to, to be able to take that and compile it back. Um, we have a, a couple of very sort of forward-looking activities going on with, with a number of our innovation uh, customers, customers who are co-innovating with us. And that is always a fun time to look at. Um, there's a, a number of things going on around uh, some of the demo jams and stuff that I'm really looking forward to seeing what comes out of those. Um, but you know, generally, for Sapphire, it's always for me as a chance to meet and chat with customers and, and just to hear how they use the product, what success they've had. Um, I, I, never, I'm never, I never fail to enjoy that moment. Well, it's shaping up to be a memorable week. Hope it's a good one for you. I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, John.